1970 Grand Final, Carlton versus Collingwood from the MCG in Melbourne. The umpire, Don Jolly, bouncing the ball. O'Callaghan. O'Callaghan takes his kick. Swinging towards centre half forward. Big Thompson, six foot seven, goes up, knocks it away there. Through they come. Conbred of Collingwood tries to pick up. He does so. A left foot snap by Brett of Post. The post. Look at the post go. Yes, for those who have never seen Australian rules before uh, throughout New South Wales, they must to get six points go between the two big sticks. It goes either side, and uh, between the smaller ones, it's only one point. And if it hits the big posts, it is only one point. There we go. Thompson in the middle of that pack. It comes down to Max Richardson. He gets a hurried hand pass out here towards Tottenham. Tottenham in a bit of trouble. Oh! Was almost unloaded. He kicks. He's put it through. The first goal of the match from the boot of the former captain, Des Tottenham. What about that, Butch? Great play, Teddy. Yes, courageous play. play by uh, Desi Tottenham. He ran very hard into Sergio Silvani. He ricocheted off Silvani with a blind turn, a hurried snap kick for goal, and first goal to Collingwood. That came up after five minutes of play in the first quarter of the 1970 Grand Final. Out onto the opposite wing, O'Callaghan racing for that ball, wins clearly, and kicks it back into the centre. Price on his arm, gives it to Tottenham. Tottenham plays through the middle, up the woods, full forward, and McKinnon. Oh, oh, and yes, here we play the mark. Nice piece of football. Collingwood are playing confidently. Peter McKenna. He is about 35, 40 yards out on the slight angle. It's on its way. It looks pretty good for me. It's right through the centre. Second goal of the match to Collingwood. And that's their second. And we are going on 14 minutes into the first quarter of the 1970 Grand Final. And no score count. Look Which at that crowd. Taps Lovely. it down beautifully to Max Richardson. Richardson down forward. There they go again. Hall and McKenna. McKenna almost pulled it in. But he's battling on. A hand pass to Con Britt. Britt for Collingwood. Puts it through. It's just six points to Collingwood. Great play, Ted. Nice piece of football by Peter McKenna. Jockey for position with, uh, with Kevin Hall. Found himself in trouble. Handball to Britt, who made no mistake, in a better position than McKenna. Max Richardson now kicking up to the scoreboard and goal. It looks Look pretty this. healthy from here, but it's offline. And one point result. It's got to be a breeze across that. Right, goal. I was just about to say that, Alan. There must be a breeze blowing from the outer side of the ground across the goal face there. No doubt. Carlton giving Collingwood the advantage in the first quarter, but uh, oh, let's see. McKenna. Has Mark. Beautiful left foot pass. What a play. McKenna has kicked one. He's about 20 yards out on a slight angle. Coming up now. He's kicked this. He's put this right through the centre. No worries. Michael has had 12 scoring shots to three, you know. This is a tremendous advantage to start in the final, even though 4-8 is not excellent kicking. Most of their scoring shots have been difficult. Gould came through, gave it to Mulcair. Mulcair kicks in towards centre half forward. And the siren sounds to end the first quarter of the Carlton Collingwood 1970 Grand Final. With the scoreboard at quarter time reading, Collingwood 4 8 32, Carlton 3 behind. Don Jolly holds the ball aloft, comes in bouncing it, starting the second quarter of the 1970 Grand Final at the MCG, Carlton and Collingwood. In goes Big Jones, hits out nicely, but Adamson came through, tackled by Jackson. Whoa. And could have been a free kick, two free kicks there. But Gallagher will get his. Gallagher comes up now, he's a left foot kick, kick to the scoreboard and goal. Put it through. There's Carlton's first goal of the 1970 Grand Final, two minutes into the second quarter. Well, could that be some indication, Butch, of to which end the wind is favouring yes. here? Because Carl, uh, Collingwood certainly did score right from the very outset in the first quarter now Carlton's turn in this quarter. I feel that Ted the distance they got with their kicks there indicated that the wind is definitely favouring the scoreboard in. We've decided on that factor 4-8 to 1-3. Now we're getting into business. There they go. Nichols in the ruck there with Jenkins. Silvani goes up, taps it down but it's taken by Dean of Collingwood. Dean a long one down forward. There's McKenna. McKenna's marked. Oh, great play. He filled Hall then. Peter McKenna. Up he comes, a school teacher. It's on its way, and he's taught them a lesson here. Right through the centre, that's his third. 
What a very strong mark he took, Butch, because I felt that uh, Hall didn't try to outmark him, but tried to play defensive by punching it away, but it was just too strong a mark. Three minutes into the second quarter, comment from Alan Gale. Oh, this is settling down now into a good game. I think that first quarter was a bit of a tense affair. 5-8 to 1-3. Clifton Mayer comes out with the ball. He's grabbed, but Clifton gets away for Collingwood. Clifton down towards centre half forward. Here's a race for the ball. Dunn traps it. Dunn gets around under his left boot. He shoots at the big oh, run. And this. A left foot of through. Oh, great play. Oh, boy. Now that fella kicked it with his left foot. And he's a natural right footer. Came through, had to trap the ball, bounce it, and cock it over his shoulder for a 50-yard goal. 6-11 to 1-3. As the head out, Waters took it. He's playing very well. Up here towards Barry Gill and Tudman. Tudman pushed Gill over. It's down to McKenna. McKenna struggles at the woods. Another left footer. And Collingwood really tearing away. He's kicked four goals, McKenna, you know. He's kicked four goals. Number six, the full forward for Collingwood. Kicked 126 goals to break a record at Collingwood this year. And kicked nine in the or eight in the second semi. They fly high. Gill went up a mile. Came down with the ball, but didn't mark it, but managed to control it. Gill down forward now. Up they go. Robert Balls has marked. Ooh, and got it the hard way. <laughs> up he comes. Carlton leading goals. It's on its way. It looks pretty good, but it's one guess, one goal. Gee, when that goal umpire hesitated, I thought it might have swung off because it was swinging. He did run across, Mike. 7-11, 18 shots to five. Collingwood well in control. There they go, Nichols and Jenkins. Nichols gets a tap down. Crosswell couldn't pick it up. Nichols dives on top of the ball. Forces it out here towards Crosswell. Crosswell trying to kick it off the ground. Higgins of Collingwood there. Back it comes. Gallagher! Gallagher's put it through. A lucky one, but nevertheless, he got the ball quickly to his boot. And he's kicked two, Adrian Gallagher. And we are... 12 and a half minutes into the second quarter. From the centre, Max Richardson. Well, looking for the pass to McKenna. It's too high. A chance for Wayne Richardson, and he's marked it. He's paid that. Held it long enough. Coming up for the kick. A very important kick, this. Got under it slightly. Oh, it's not Gonna a bad make it. kick. Beautiful goal for Wayne Richardson. And that was the most important one, Ted, I felt, with uh, Carlton getting a bit of a run on there. Yes, they started to get back into the game, and they certainly needed to do so. Richard into the centre, he finds Price. Price in a bit of trouble. A hand pass across here towards uh, Dean, but the ball picked up by Max Richardson. Down towards the forward zone, oh, McKenna! Oh, oh. McKenna's kicked four, he's 30 yards out directly in front. It's on its way, there's his fifth. Well, there's nothing wrong with him now, Ted. Oh, he looks all right. He did go into a, into a pack, Mike, and uh, Butcher was hit very severely there. Uh, possibly he was winded, but that's his fifth goal. 9-11, 20 shots to Collingwood, seven by Carlton, trailing by six-odd goals. Big Thompson going up, Gill goes up from behind. Mackay gets a trip too. Yes, he's paid yes, it. Mackay's free kick. I trip. didn't think he was going to pay it. looked like a trip, but he has paid it. It was a trip, yes. Ted. I didn't think he was going to play it, Mike. He was spot on. Okay, to the wing position on the member stand side. Oh, oh. Jesselenko, you beauty! Good Lord. Alex Jesselenko. Bring in oxygen. Out to the ball, not far out uh, from the Carlton goal. It's taken by Silvani. He's pushed by Tadnan. Yes, had to oh, be Oh, in the back. Had to be played, Mike. We're well into time on here, Michael. Could be a handy score. Silvani, 40 yards out. Puts it on its way. It's his big ambition to kick a goal. He's done it! He's done it! It was a nice goal. Oh, Sergio Silvani, one of the great characters of the game. He's always wanted to kick goals. And he's put one through in the grand final of 1970. Yeah, the scoreboard, Collingwood 9-12, the Carlton 4-5. This fella's going to be one of the best players Look at Tottenham on his own. Oh, criminal offence. Not a bad player to leave alone, is he? Oh, oh you kidding. Wouldn't Barassi be tearing his hair out? Barassi, the coach of Carlton, leaving Des Tudnam there. He's kicked one, Tudnam. The fair way out, and he's on an angle, but he puts this oh. on its way. Oh, oh. oh two. Oh. There's a real Tudnam's goal there. Real pressure goal there by Des Tudnam. Leaving Captain. a player like him on his own. Couldn't quite make it. Down to Gould. Gould gets the kick out towards the wing. A bad kick, and Bean drops in and marks it. 
1970 Grand Final, Collingwood 10 13 73. They've uh, put a deposit on that flag, Carlton 4 5 29. Umpire Don Jolly about to bounce the ball, starting the third quarter of the 1970 Victorian Football League Grand Final, Carlton and Collingwood. Collingwood well in command at this stage, the scoreboard reading, Collingwood 10-13 to Carlton 4-5. What will happen? Hopkins is on for Carlton and Thornley is on. Potter goes for the kick, the centre of the ground, centre half forward, Jake and the Collingwood Ruckman's in there, stepped to the ground, Duel picks it up number 11, one-handed, flashy football but it's a big kick. Down to the half forward line, looking for Jessalinka, but ah, oh, it's Croswell that is marked. Croswell plays on, gives the ball to uh, Walls. Walls has a long shot for goal. Jones is there, down to Teddy Hopkins and the underneath man. He stops the goal, and it throws, put it through. He did exactly the same. There's Teddy Hopkins, the 19th man for Carlton. Two and a half goal. minutes, two and a half minutes into the third quarter. Can Hopkins bring Carlton back into this 1970 grand final? Oh, look at Carlton, they're playing on it every opportunity. Gill drives down, Jessalinko! Jessalinko's dropped it, but he bottles up a left foot snap. This is going to go through, or close to it. No, oh, Mark Hopkins again! Hopkins again! Gee, that was good play on that pitch part. Snapped it off the back of the pack, good anticipation. Three and a half minutes into the third quarter, and Hopkins has kicked two goals within a minute. Jessalenko couldn't get to it. Taken by Adamson. Adamson a hand pass intercepted by Nichols. Nichols a long hand pass towards Gallagher. But through they come. O'Callaghan is there. Jackson picks up for Calvin. Jackson a left foot snap. Oh, he's got it through. Beautiful goal by Jackson. Good football by Carlton in this quarter. They have reduced the lead by Collingwood. 10-14 to 7-5, looks a little bit better from Carlton's point of view. Number seven in the centre of the ground, goes for the punt kick, torpedo punt, looking for Jezelenko, Clifton's from behind, punches the ball, Heatkins comes through, misses the ball, and Croswell, umpire Jolly said it was too Down high, and will take the free kick. Boy, yeah. are they coming back. Telling Collingwood players to get away from the mark, 10 yards distance they must be, he comes in with the drop punt, lines it up, it looks pretty good in transit, and it's right through the middle. There's oh, another one to Carlton. What's that point like before? The fourth in this quarter. And a tremendous opening to the second half by Carlton. The ball is knocked away. Tully comes in for Collingwood. Tully gets a hurried kick. Now towards the halfback playing on the member stand side. Dean comes out with the ball. Dean now a left foot snap. Oh, but it's a wild one. And Robert Walls again. Walls, a quick hand pass to Hopkins. Hopkins in a bit of trouble, but he shoots. He's put it through. Yeah. That's his third. That's his third. third. Play by Nichols there to let that ball drop through. And I can tell you, Carlton are really back in this. Ted, you said before they are reckless with their play on game, but it's the only thing to do That's in desperate right. circumstances. Ten and a half minutes gone into the third quarter. And look at the scoreboard. Terrific play in towards Price in the centre. Big Jones comes through. Knocks the ball away. Crane, Price. Crane underneath it and gets a three. Oh. And the play are unloaded there. There's a kick in towards centre half forward. Again, a rubber balls is marked. Great play by Carlton. He steps around Potter. Places into an open goal. A long shot. This. The There's another one. Oh, boy. Good football, Carlton. Now you know what we mean. You interstate viewers by... The excitement of this great game. There's coach Ron Baresi, a lot in the corner there of the grandstand. A lot happier coach now at this particular stage. They've kicked what might five in this quarter. Six goals six. in this quarter. They've kicked six goals between the 2.30 mark and the 12 minute mark. Throw it in the forward pocket. Bell the umpire. He can record that one out on the full, but he couldn't fool the umpire. And goes uh, Jenkins, hits down. Hopkins has it. He tries to scramble a ball. Just in it goes, shoots. There's a complete reversal of ball by Carlton. That's complacency he said it was coming with. They've kicked seven goals, Teddy. Carlton have kicked seven goals in ten and a half minutes. Well, this is what the public want. Three points to difference. Waters from the half forward line looking for the long one into the square. Thompson goes in and marks. That was a well-placed kick and good football by Waters. 
Four points, a look, tremendous look amount Look at that of right thigh. You can see his right thigh there. Yes. See those marks? That's that uh, skin irritation that they've been talking about. Thompson kicks. Put it through. A 10-point lead for Collingwood now. Time, Michael. Gee, it's going quickly. Gee, they've done it the hard way. Collingwood haven't missed the ball at Don Jolly. Who will bounce it? Here comes Jones now. Jones taps the ball at Jezelenko. Jezelenko to Gallagher. Gallagher misses the one on the ball. Coming through Jezelenko. Through a savage of players. And umpire Jolly will play right. the free kick to Jezelenko. The Canberra kid, the full forward for Carlton, who has kicked up on the list stage. One. One goal. 25, 30 yards out of goal on a slight angle. Will favour the drop punt. He runs in. Oh, it looks pretty oh, good. Yes. There's a sausage roll for Carlton. Four points to reference. A sausage roll for the benefit of the uninitiated is a goal. Thanks, Ted. Dropped that one in nicely, so did Jezelenko. In a lead, was ignored. Now gone back to the square. Thompson delaying this. It has allowed the, the Carlton defenders to get into the square. It's going to end right in the teeth of goal and done. Oh, oh it's it's it. either one or the other. It's going to be Tuttenham's three or Dunn's mark. That's the fight. Tuttenham's three. Ah, oh, Megan Parkney. the mark. mark. Now Dunn, he's kicked one goal, a lot of pressure on him. Oh, Put home it. to the wide world. Right through the middle. And this is how this game will go now. Kick for kick and goal for goal. We're in the timeline, just over 25 minutes of the third quarter gone of the 1970 Grand Final. Down with a cramp, Wayne Richardson swings the ball around. Tries to get it in towards centre half forward, oh, 20 done. Lovely mark, that one. A casual type of player. Not a very effective player. For the benefit of our interstate people, he's six foot five and a half and can play on a half forward flank where they normally need speed. Here it is up to McKenna and he's marked. Now this is the player that Collingwood need to fire to bring them back into a winning position. They're leading by ten points. He's kicked five up to now. A but he's kicking accurate. to the difficult end. John its way, he's allowed for that freeze and he's put it right through. That's McKenna's sixth. But by the same token, Kevin Hall's playing well. A full yes, back. True. We are going on towards 29 minutes into the third quarter. Well, he's got to have a shot, but he's a devil of a long way out. He'd be at least 60 yards out, even more. On an angle, kicking from the half forward flank of the scoreboard end goal. He can still score. It's a big kick. It's going to drop slightly short and touched and end of third quarter. And three quarter time in the 1970 grand final. A magnificent comeback in that quarter from Carlton. Calling it 13, 16, 94. Carlton 12, 5, 77. <coughs> Umpire Don Jolly coming in, bouncing the ball to start the final quarter of the 1970 Grand Final, Carlton versus Collingwood. You're watching this from Channel 7 in Melbourne. There's Peter McKenna being well guarded by Kevin Hall. The kick now from Greenings going down, swinging out towards the pocket. Big Glenn Thompson, he's yeah, marked. No too big, it. too strong. Mackay's appealing for the free kick. He's manoeuvred manu uh, himself around a bit too. Yeah, cheated a fair bit there. He kicks, he's put it through, right through the centre. Now, Butch. It's a good lead, Teddy. Now, yeah. it was pretty obvious that Carlton couldn't have kept up that tremendous swamp of goals that they made in the third quarter. But five still minutes into the final quarter, Butch. There's still plenty of time. There's 25 minutes at least to play. It's on its way, though. It's uh, right into the goal square. A magnificent kick. They fly. Big John is there. Oh, gets it around. Nichols, 12 yards out, directly in front. No misses with him, right through the centre, Colling Collingwood is scratching their heads again now because Carlton is still in it, they're still in it boy. Well we're still in the game Mike but they want a repetition of that, they're taking their time with the ball as you mentioned, there comes Jones now, it's a big kick, torpedo punt high, Walls is underneath, Nichols from behind and Nichols is stuck with another one, 15, 20 yards out of goal, runs in, <coughs> see what he can do with it. 
He kicks, steers it right through the middle. There's no worries about that. Eight points of difference. Eight points of difference only in favour of Collingwood. And we are 11 minutes into the final quarter. He takes his kick. Oh, it's a nice one, two up towards and a half four. The players set themselves. Terry Waters went up. But Eakins comes out with a kick smaller by Jackson. Jackson goes after it now. Look at this fellow go. Jackson a long head pass to Hopkins. Hopkins steadies. Hopkins kicks. It's in. He's put it through. It's four goals for Hopkins. And it's only a point the difference. One point the difference. Will we be back next week? Possession. 24 and a half. Oh, too high. Too high. Duper. 24 and a half minutes gone. Crosswell with it. Crosswell's kicked one. He's only 40 yards out. If that, 35 to 40 yards out. On a slight angle. Brent Crosswell. It's on its way. It looks pretty good. Carlton in front. It's a goal. Carlton in front. Oh, what a finish. And we're into time on. Can the Magpies come back? We're into time on. 25. Now Price of Collingwood steadying down. He's going for the lead from McKenna. McKenna goes up. He's playing play it. Play on. Play on. Oh, play on. Play on is a call. Up the woods and a half forward for Carlton now. Who comes Jessalenko? Jessalenko, a left footer. There's nobody there. Look at this. It's bound through. And Collingwood players holding hands to their heads as the time is getting away from them now. They're 11 points down. An amazing, an amazing finish by Carlton. And they've got this grand final one. Oh, you wouldn't see anything better anywhere in the world, but as far as excitements and highlights and tremendous sportsmen are concerned. Oh, it's got to go any second, Michael. Half a minute to play, I reckon. Fantastic. There's the kick now. Down to the half forward flank. A mark to Gallagher. There's a siren. Carlton. Carlton are premiers. And look at what the rest is surrounded. Carlton are premiers. And our commiserations to Bob Rose of Collingwood. It's happened again to him. And nobody could be sorrier for Bob Rose than the three of us up here. It's all over. Yes, Carlton got up in the dying stages. Oh, Butch Gale, a fantastic comeback. They were gone to the world at halftime. But they kicked seven goals in ten and a half minutes in the third quarter. And Carlton have won the grand final of 1970 here on the MCG. Can we have a look at that scoreboard? 14-17, 101 Collingwood. Carlton, 79, 111. Boy, oh boy, comment from Alan Butch Gale. Look, that is the gutsiest performance I have ever seen in my life. And I'm not kidding.